Searching in Outlook is pretty easy, but why bother typing out the same searches over and over if you perform them regularly? Search folders let you save those custom searches so you can get back to them with just a click or two. Hi, I'm Don Bjork, the software pro. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer. In this training, we'll look at how to build search folders in Microsoft Outlook. To start, you'll likely find your search folders at the bottom of the list of folders in your Outlook data file on the left-hand side of the window. Now, each data file has its own search folder. So if you use Outlook to check more than one account or manage multiple accounts, you can set up different search folders for each one. Now, this will not show up necessarily until you have at least one search folder that's created. You'll see a few of them here. One way to create a new search folder is if this is available, you can simply right click here and choose new search folder. Outlook already has a number of predefined search folders that you can use to get started. Now, although you can't further customize them, they're definitely worth taking a look at first, just in case they cover what your needs are. Now I'll come out of this for just a moment, simply so that you can see that there's another way as well to be able to create a search folder. And this is from the folder tab in Outlook. And here is new search folder. The keyboard shortcut for this is also control shift P. So the, this is a way for you to set up a new search folder, whether or not you already have some displayed in your Outlook inbox. From this dialog box, then let's first of all, create a simple search. Here we see a number of presets, reading mail, mail from people and list, organizing. And I want to see any mail that's been flagged for follow-up. So I can really kind of narrow that down. We'll simply choose OK. And now we're done. That is, that's all we needed to do. And here we have then mail that has been flagged for follow-up. Now I'll come back to my inbox and I will also then, let's say that I want to flag something about this particular upcoming trip. So I could simply hit the flag, but I'll right click on that instead. And I'm going to add a reminder that will come up for me then in a little bit here. I'll have it come up on Tuesday and we'll go ahead and OK. So now that is another message that's been flagged for follow up. And let's go ahead and look at that search folder. Now we see both of those. Now the reason why these messages are coming up this way is because of something called conditional formatting. And that is yet another way to be able to manage your inbox. That is to flag those messages in this case from the big boss so that they stand out. The thing to know about these search folders is that they are virtual. And if you decide to delete them, you no longer need them. You are not deleting the messages in them. You are simply deleting that particular search request. Now that's different than if you decided to delete physical uh, folders. And in that case, then you would delete the content there. If this becomes a frequently used search folder, then you can add it to the favorites folder. This is really easy by right clicking on that search, whether it is a virtual folder like a search folder or a physical one, and then left click on add to favorites. And now it becomes an option that's even easier to get to because otherwise it's at the very bottom of your list. Now the favorites folder is covered in more detail in another training video on Outlook folders. And the link is found below in the description. Let's go back to our search folders and explore how we can create a custom search folder. Now, this lets you add additional criteria that maybe those predefined search folders just simply don't include. So those are pretty easy, but there might be times when you want to do that. So it's, it's for instance, specifically from your boss within a certain time frame, or hasn't been read, um, messages that are to and from a particular client. You can even use their full domain so you don't have to specify what could be a collection of, of many emails or even messages with attachments that are over a certain size. So let's go ahead once again and we'll create a search and I'll go to the ribbon, but there were some other options that you have for that. 
And rather than picking one of these standardized choices, we'll come down to and choose custom, create a custom search folder. So from here now, we'll pick the criteria. What do I want to call this? Well, this is going to be unread messages from the boss. What will stand out? What will make it easier for you? Next, we'll go to criteria. And here, who is it from? Well, I'll simply put in his email address. But there could be a lot more here. It could be a specific phrase that's found in the subject line or even in the content, the message body. And so you know, dig into that and explore how this could be helpful. Here we have time frames, and I'm going to just dig in and explore a little bit more here for other choices. This is a way to narrow down the searches. And for this one, I want only messages that are unread. Those are two criteria there. Notice that you could also specify if there were attachments and other things like whether or not something was flagged for importance, or maybe we want to focus on the size of a message. What will help you to be able to create real specific searches that you can use over and over again. There's also a tab for advanced. This tends to be a more than what we need, but there is a, the ability then to really be specific about fields that are within those messages or even within other areas of Outlook, and then you would be able to search for a condition. Once you've specified what you want, simply OK through. And now I have a new search folder, unread messages from the big boss. And you can see here, I have a number of messages that I better respond to right away. Uh, somehow they got missed, and that's probably because I wasn't leveraging my folders and my search folders as well as I could. How will you take advantage of search folders to save time and to be much more productive working with your email in Microsoft Outlook. Now you've seen how to save time and effort by leveraging search folders in Microsoft Outlook. For more tips on being productive with Microsoft Outlook, head to thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook. If this training was helpful, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Don Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.